So, back in the shop. Today, I'm gonna do a little bit different of an intro. I'm actually gonna put the balancer on this while I'm going over things. And also, if you saw, I swear, every time I cut this thing on, I've got to start putting my phone on silent. So every single time I go to start recording, it goes off. Not one freaking time has this thing went off since I've been in the shop, till I hit record. <laughs> All right, start it. Back in the shop. I'm gonna do today's intro a little bit different. I'm going to put the balancer on this motor. It's still not finished, and it's still not gonna be finished today. The intake, I did finally find one for a kind of reasonable price, but considering I'm getting it tomorrow morning, and it'll be Thursday tomorrow, and I want it done by Friday, all I gotta do is put an intake on tomorrow. So, got it on the way. It'll be here tomorrow morning. Um, I'm gonna put the balancer on now, go over what I'm doing next after I finish this motor kind of thing. And also, I just did a little review of the tripod because I'm actually using my DSLR instead of like my GoPro on a tripod that I can move around type thing because I have upgraded my switch. So now I can angle this with beforehand, you would have been viewing like up here and have been above the motor because there was no angle I could turn my tripod, my camera on the tripod on the switch, but I have now manipulated that. So if you want to see what I did to make my switch work, you can go check out that video on my page. I don't I haven't uploaded it or named it yet, so I don't know what it's gonna be called, but it'll be on there. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to putting this balancer on and going over what we're gonna be doing next after this motor is finished. Whoosh. All right, I had to go buy a brand new balancer for this 400 because the guy who brought me the parts for what he thought he had, he was going to build a 350 originally, then ended up buying a 400 block off of me and putting it together, and he bought me a balancer for a 300. And a balancer for a 300 will not work on a 400. One, this one's externally balanced, and the older style 350s are internally balanced. So that's no bueno. <laughs> Anyways. So we got a brand new 400 balancer. Look at that beauty. Don't that look nice. So let's get this guy on the motor. Look at that. Show, show, show. Putting this balancer on. <laughs> get this guy. Brand new. Get it all greased up. If you're gonna put it in there, you have a little grease on it so it can lubricate that seal. That front main seal. But as soon as I get this on here, I'm going to start finish tearing down that LT1 that needs to happen. All right, she's on now somewhat. Take okay, this little balancer insulation tool. Yeah, buddy. That way there. It makes it so much easier to use one of these things. I've seen other ways to do it, but and like, I even had people tell me that like they don't like using this thing because it breaks on them. I have not had one issue and I bet you I don't even, couldn't even tell you how many of these things I've put on. But you just more or less take that one piece that screws into the actual crank itself, take it and it's got a long screw that runs through the center of this shaft and you screw those two together, screw it into the actual crank, got this sitting up against the balancer, take this bolt and run it up against the little, it's kind of like a bearing. And I believe it's a one inch bolt if I remember correctly. No, it is much bigger than one. I don't, so it's probably gonna be one and an eight. Let me go grab that. It's not one and an eight either. After I went back there and this one that I use, I knew it was that because it's got the angle on it. It's one and a quarter. So it's a one and a quarter bolt. Two, there we go. And you just go around the threads. It's in the crank. And I gotta get something to hold that with. I remember correctly on that one, that was a 916th. For the nitrous setup, when I have to change out the hoses on that. Boom, it is. So, let's hold that still. You just come around. It's kind of difficult to do something down, let's not do that. So, you just spin it around and it just slowly pulls in the balancer. Nice and easy to do. I kind of want a bigger wrench, like this one, I want something with some meat on it so I can hold it. This will probably make it a little easier. And you don't need a certain size. And you just keep turning, and keep turning, and keep turning until it bottoms out. And the actual balancer will sit flush up against the crank. And you're good to go once that happens. Alright, like I said, you just keep turning that thing until it gets on there. 
and everything is good. So this one's done. We're gonna officially jump on that LT1 now. Then hopefully also get it complete because it's just the bottom end that's left on that one. I gotta get the, uh, the actual, like the balancer part of it off so I can get the crank and everything and the timing cover and the timing set and all that stuff off of it. And it's done being broken down. And hopefully I'll break down that 440 Mopar also today. I'm gonna try to knock both of those out at the same time. So let's get to that. So I wanted to stop for a second and actually go over the doing an LT1, like I'm taking it apart. And I've never actually built an LT1 before, so I've never disassembled one either. But I've done so many 350s, it's ridiculous at this point. I don't even know how many 350s I've built. But getting the pulley off is a little bit different than the typical 350. And in case you didn't know, you're going to need something like this. This right here. Well, once you get the balancer off, there's like a little thing behind it that it bolts to. And in order to get it off, you need something small enough to fit in the hole where the bolt came out. But also it's smaller than the actual diameter of the pulley, or I don't even know what to call it, it's not really a pulley, but the little bracket that it bolts to behind it, and it needs to be able to fit through so that can come off and be pushed off at the same time. So what I did was take a bolt, and I shaved the threads off of it so it wouldn't mess up the threads inside the crank itself, and used that to get it off, and it came right off in seconds. That was a lot easier once I made this. <laughs> All right, get back to work. Some outer brock stickers. Got some stickers to put on some stuff. All kinds of little goodies. But yeah, here we go. Yeah, carbureted Vortec intake. Awesome. Let's get this bad boy on this motor and get her done, son. a long time coming but she's done it is finally complete the 400 is done <laughs> I just messaged the customer he knows it well he hasn't responded to me yet but he knows that his motor is done and hopefully it comes again he said he was gonna be here Friday or Saturday because I told him it'd be done by Friday but I finally got all the parts I finally got everything that I needed and it's done I'm not working on it anymore no Bye, see you later. <laughs> All right, let's get back to working on that LT1. So the good news is, I've got the LT1 tore down. The bad news is, it had a catastrophic failure. <laughs> he had something that caused it to lose oil pressure. It spun rod bearings, main bearings. The only bearings it didn't spin was the cam bearings. <laughs> but the crank is toast, it's done. Like there's, I think even to use it again, it would have to be welded back up and then ground down. It's, I mean, it spun hard. Like I'm guessing whatever happened to him when he lost oil pressure, he did not stop the motor. He did not heed the warning signs. He kept going. So that thing is done. I mean, I don't even, I mean, I could probably measure the amount of metal gone in inches and not thousands of an inches. <laughs> Anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, isn't, okay, it is focusing. <laughs> well, the only thing I don't have out is the camshaft, but I have officially ran out of time today, so... It is what it is. I gotta go get the kids. And if I don't get there by six o'clock, the grandparents get kind of, they get mad. My wife gets yelled at and I gotta hear from my wife about it. So <laughs> I'm calling it today. I'll get that cab chef out in the morning. But for the most part, everything is taken apart of taking apart on this LT1. So we'll start cleaning it up, start machining it tomorrow. Anyway, see ya. Another vlog has come to an end, which means it's time to smash this like button right here, click on the share button over here, share this vlog with anybody you think might find it interesting, 
comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the vlog. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, that way there you'll get the notifications, and we will talk with you later. Whoosh!